legend sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Good morning everyone! I cannot muster much excitement this morning <laughs> It's too early but today is moving day and it is about 8 15 in the morning josh is getting ready to go pick up our moving van that we booked and i am getting started packing which you might be like jenny why have you not packed yet well <laughs> i'll tell you i had a three-day work conference in person the last few days it was 9 a.m to like 9 p.m every day wanted to be fully present there and yeah we just haven't had any other time to do the packing we got our boxes delivered yesterday because we didn't know we were moving until like for sure until two weeks ago um i just like have not had a single moment to pack so today i'm packing we really don't have that much stuff since this place is furnished to begin with and also we didn't bring a ton of stuff from the states shouldn't take too long the goals for today are to get all of our big stuff moved to pick up a like closet set up that we found on Facebook Marketplace, go to Ikea because we need some basics that we just like totally don't have yet and we can't go tomorrow because it's Sunday. And then tonight we will probably sleep in our old place again because our mattress has not been delivered. So I ordered it on I think last Sunday and it said three to five business days for shipping but unfortunately it still has not been shipped. So we do not have a mattress. We're going to pick up a air mattress that Josh reserved at a outdoor supply store today. So we'll have something, but since we have this place technically until Tuesday and we aren't giving the keys to the landlord until tomorrow afternoon, we're just gonna spend another night here, take advantage of the comfy bed, and then yeah, start, start sleeping on the air mattress on a night. <laughs> and hopefully we won't have to do it for too long. As you can see, our place is a complete disaster. I don't know if you can relate, but when you know that you're gonna be moving, putting things away kind of loses the appeal. <laughs> it's been such a busy week. So it's a disaster. So first I need to get a little bit organized, put the boxes together, and then hopefully it'll all come together pretty quick. I'll check in with you in a bit. I'm here waiting in the truck as Josh loads up the um, IKEA closet that we are purchasing on Facebook Marketplace because now that the window on the truck is broken, 
someone needs to stay with it so we don't get it stolen as well. So that's great. I was feeling a bit discouraged and I was thinking about, you know, the lighting isn't good. I don't have my tripod because it got stolen. You know, I didn't, I'm not in a good mood. I'm feeling kind of sad because these things have been happening today and it's just been like a really stressful experience. We're not gonna be able to go to Ikea today. We're gonna have to like, figure out how to rent a car a different day, which is a whole license issue that I'll go into at some other point, but just feeling a little discouraged. And I thought, you know what? I think it's important that I do document this because people don't talk about how hard it is to move abroad for reasons like this. Like it is really hard to do these kind of things like move without the support of family and like the infrastructure of just being able to rent a car because you have the driver's license of the country you're living in and having like moving blankets and that kind of stuff and a place to store them and like moving is never easy but I feel like it's been <laughs> so much harder you know because we're here in a foreign country figuring out how to do it on our own and he did get some really amazing help from um, my friend Martin whose building we're moving into Martin shout out to him he has been so helpful on every step of this journey but I just thought it was important to call it out you know living abroad is not as glamorous and easy as my vlogs or other people's vlogs might make it seem like there are really hard moments and just is what it is it's all part of the journey we're gonna sleep at our old place tonight we'll have a comfy bed we'll have a coffee machine at least a change of clothes some towels all the things that we really need and I'm looking forward to getting home and just relaxing because it has been a very long, very busy day and I have not eaten in a very long time. And both of our water bottles got stolen, our hydro flasks. So we have no water. So <laughs> we need to stop somewhere and get some of that. But anyways, just to bring some reality to the glamour. How are we doing, babe? Fed-ish. We're fed. We're fed. Hot donor. Listening to some German 80s music. We're about to be done for the day, so that's good news. This is what they listened to when the oh. wall came down, baby. Tell all the people the, the amazing news. went to Shakespeare and Sons and got us bagels and coffee and then he left again to go to the new place. He's gonna get the internet set up um, and then start putting together the IKEA PAX closet system that we picked up from Facebook Marketplace yesterday which was a whole adventure. So I'm gonna finish cleaning our current place then meet with our current landlord quickly do the handover um, except we are keeping the keys technically because we are going to sleep here again tonight because we still don't have a mattress or an air air mattress Just the whole thing. But we're gonna do like the logistical stuff of the handover to this afternoon And then I'll head over to the new place as well and continue with unpacking tomorrow I took the day off from work to finish unpacking. We have a couple Deliveries happening tomorrow and then we also need to go get an air mattress <laughs> So we have a bed go to Ikea. So we have towels and whatnot and then we also need to go to a bank. In Germany, you don't pay the security deposit to the landlord. You actually take out like a special security deposit bank account. We tried to do it online, but for some reason they could not approve us. So we need to go in person and make sure we provide all the right documents and stuff so we can get that taken care of.
pull me up. Yeah. Josh is testing out the beds at Ikea. Scouts on me. Okay. This is pretty comfy. But we can't afford this bed. Too much swank. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're in the Swedish furniture warehouse. Yeah. Finally made it back from Ikea. Okay, so honestly, this has been the most insane last three days and I, one, haven't had the time to film and two, haven't felt like it. <laughs> So you've missed a lot, but let me get you up to speed. We are completely moved into our new apartment. We have not slept here yet. We slept the last two nights at our old place because we didn't have a mattress. Our mattress that I ordered still has not arrived, so we went to Ikea today and one of the things that we picked up is a cheapo mattress. It's Monday, by the way. In case you can't tell, I am rather frazzled. Also, um, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but my phone stopped working on Friday, I think. I'm switching to a new phone provider because my old one was super crappy. And in Germany, you can like take your phone number with you to a new provider, but you have to like fill out a form and then they like do the handover. So I sent in that form early last week and then wake up Friday morning and it's, it's supposed to cut my current service and switch to the next one on the same day, which would be at the end of my current billing period. So wake up on Friday, my phone has no service and I have a message from my current carrier saying, hey, we received your request, your phone has been, or your SIM card has been deactivated. And I was like, okay, I don't have a new provider yet. I don't have a new phone. Like I'm not ready for this. Anyways, that was going into moving. So I have not had a second to deal with it or like anything, but it's also made all the logistics of moving that much more complicated and difficult so i am now home alone no phone trying to get some unpacking done josh just ran off to go to a coffee shop because we also don't have internet yet getting internet set up in germany can be quite an ordeal and take some time so tomorrow we are getting a temporary 4g internet dongle from my work but in the meantime we don't have any wi-fi and josh has life stuff to do so yeah he went off to a coffee shop to do that and I'm trying to organize a little bit because I'm back to work tomorrow and this place is a disaster. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, so like I said, we just went to Ikea. So a couple things are new. We got a mirror for the bathroom, which I need to put up. But yeah, here's the disaster that is our bathroom. Um, <laughs> we haven't had any towels. So that's how we've been drying ourselves when we shower. Quick peek outside. It's a gloomy Berlin day. Still don't have a shower curtain and I have no idea how to hang a shower curtain in this space. So let me know if you have any ideas. On to the bedroom. Um, Josh is in the process of putting together our Ikea Pax wardrobe. That's mostly what's going on here. Here's this little mattress. Brennan, this mattress is for you and Cassie when you guys come. Ashley, also for you. Anyone else who wants to come visit, Lubna, Cordelia, anyone, let me know. Quick little peek outside. And then kitchen is what I've been working on now. I don't know if I showed this in my original walkthrough, but this is the size of our fridge. It is itty bitty and the freezer even more so. So we're thinking about getting like a little freestanding freezer to help with that. A little bit of pantry going on. I'm starting to put away dishes. We got a new oven this morning, so I'm running that for the first time. We still need a dishwasher. Our washing machine is coming on Tuesday, I think. And this one is going bye-bye. He's, yeah, boxes using Josh's desk as a kitchen table. <laughs> and then this exciting, exciting, disaster which is the living room so my job right now is to try to figure out this room and this room so we can have somewhere to sleep and go about our daily life tomorrow without serious difficulty
Guys, today is a magical day. Let me show you what just got delivered. We finally have a washing machine. So our final mattress actually showed up. And dad, this is me actually making good use of my buck knife. So today is the next Saturday. It's been a week since we moved in. I just wanna give you a little update before I close out this moving vlog. So this is the bedroom. We have our mattress finally, so that's good news. Josh has started putting together the Ikea wardrobe that we picked up. Hopefully he'll be able to do more of that today and then get that finished maybe. It's nice and sunny outside right now. We just went on a walk around our neighborhood. This is the view from our bedroom. This is the kitchen. So we mostly unpacked the kitchen. Uh, we got our laundry machine delivered. We still don't have a kitchen table or anything. We're just using Josh's desk for now. And then the living room is more or less a disaster at the moment. We really don't have any furniture for the living room. So everything is just kind of here and all of our clothes um, because we can't put them away quite yet are here. But I did get my desk delivered, standing desk. So that's exciting. Now I can work from home. I have this beautiful, beautiful view as I'm working. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Here's a better view from the balcony. You hear the birds. So I ordered a new mattress because our old one was a little smaller than I thought it would be and there wasn't like that big of a price difference to get a bigger one but oh my god you guys this is the biggest I can't even get it all in the frame this is the biggest mattress I've ever seen in my life like <laughs> what I may have gone a little overboard and I got our <laughs> what did you I was just fixing the drawstring of my pants so they didn't hang down? <laughs> we got our closet built. Well, Josh got our closet built. It's maybe not recommended to buy IKEA furniture secondhand on a Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> what do you think, Dean? No. no. Uh, it's anything that's a cabinet that you have to disassemble and reassemble. Yeah. Made of particle board. Yeah, stuff. we had some large difficulties with the sturdiness of it but it's looking pretty good and we just got to put all our clothes away i'm actually sick right now so sick <laughs> jenny's sick as, as always yeah so yeah that is gonna be all for this moving vlog thanks so much for watching make sure that you like this video and subscribe down below if you want to see more about how we set up our apartment you can talk more about the process of finding the apartment and all of that if you're interested we are super excited to be living here this neighborhood is beautiful and i'll show you more of that in the coming vlogs but yeah we just feel super lucky and excited to make this place a home so thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next vlog bye